welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel this video is going to be part two of my dollhouse tour if you have not already seen part one i recommend you watching that first just because that shows floors one and two and this is going to be showing floors three and four which i guess doesn't matter what order you watch them in but i'll link number one down below so now that the intro is already done i'm just going to get started with the dollhouse tour so the first room on the third floor is Nikki, Jaden, and Luna's bedroom. This is probably my favorite bedroom out of all of them just because it's my favorite color. I really like the posters and just everything about it. Anyway, time for a more in detail tour of it. So the bed that they have is this bunk bed from Our Generation. No, not Our Generation, I just got it from Target. I don't know what brand it is, but it's kind of messed up. It's not like even. So normally I have a bead that I put under that, but I lost the bead. But up top we have Jaden. Jaden has a little flamingo thing up there. And then there's a snorkel that's Luna's. Jaden has this cute little nightlight. Well, it's a lantern, but they use it as a nightlight. Nikki has this bag with a bunch of random stuff in it. And why is it making that noise? Okay, I'm going to figure out what's in that bag after this tour. But then we have Luna's glasses. Luna sleeps on the trundle and Nikki sleeps up there. Luna's trundle is very messy, but I haven't had a chance to clean it today. Over here, we have, um, what's his name? The ferret, Jack. Mm, you never actually learned I had a ferret, I don't think. But his name is Jack, he is Luna's, and he lives in this wooden box that I got at the dollar store, so. Then we have a poster from The Hunger Games. I love it, and I wish I had it in my room. And there's that random sticker that my friend gave me for Christmas last year. Then we have a little drawing that I made, and I kind of like it, but oh well. So, next door to their room, we have the boys' room. And so, um, they have a bunk bed, and there's a trundle. Um, there is no ladder. I painted the bunk bed, which I really regret doing because I hate how it looks. But I didn't paint the ladder. I ran out of paint, and I just never got more but um finn sleeps on top and i haven't decided his personality so his bed is kind of empty seth has these two rubik's cubes and then Raphael has a pair of headphones on the trundle there is a mason jar next to their bed so they have a nightstand and then there is a dog with some ferret food even though i pretend it's dog food it's still ferret food and a dog bed that i made a while ago this dog's name is caramel my cousin and I named him a long time ago. But then there are just random brands on the walls. There's Vans, um, Under Armour. There's an, a couple more Under Armour ones and another Vans one. Another Under Armour one. A random pizza sticker that my friend gave me. An Apple sticker and that says Seth, Raphael, and Finn. Their room is basically advertising. Everyone buy these products or these brands or whatever. I'm good at advertising. Okay, so next up, we have Kirsten and Luciana's room, who I just added a few finishing touches on yesterday. But this is Luciana's house, as you can see by her name tag. It says Luciana V. And there's another sticker from my friend of the world. Ow, I just hit my elbow. All right, now that I'm fully recovered, I'm going to finish the tour. Um, Luciana has her favorite color sheets and her little star necklace. Kirsten has her favorite color sheets, and her bed has nothing on the edge because she's organized. In the corner, there's just another random drawing that I did. And then up there, my friend made me that in elementary school, like this necklace thing, and I really like it. And then I bought a chalkboard at the dollar store yesterday, so. In between both of their beds, we have this homemade nightstand made out of something I got from the dollar store yesterday and this coconut that I wanted to swim meet like three years ago which I found out. They sell that at the dollar store. We were all so excited over prizes from the dollar store. Anyway, in the little nightstand, I keep just some random things. There is a certificate, some more of those nail stickers, 
even more of the nail stickers, a little tablet, a star target, space camp, like a space camp, space log thing, and then a card from the doll hospital. I have yet to decide what to put on the chalkboard, but they'll be stuck on it one day. The final room on the third floor is the study. The study has literally like no decoration on the walls because I'm still in the process of decorating. But in the corner, there is the desk and chair. The other chair is in Gracie's room. But I'll show you the little things on the desk now. Okay, so on the desk we have a little candle, a book of Stolen Girl. I read that when I was like nine or 10 and I really like it. There are two of these little composition notebooks and there's an Apple computer that's also a mirror. Where did my camera go? There it is, my phone's green very pretty then we have this thing that i got with a dress but i put it in here and then we have these cute little headphones the last part of the study is like the main part it's a bunch of bookshelves my brothers are really into sports car collecting and they come home with these boxes so i asked them to buy me a couple and they did so i glued them together and made really tall bookshelves and then i put all of the books on them some of the books fell down but it's kind of hard because like I'm always having to put them back. Like, if one goes down, they all go down. I'm not actually going to knock them down because that would be so terrible of me. Anyway, moving on to floor four. Okay, so this floor is like really high up, which is why the camera is shaky, because I'm kind of holding it. This is Arlie and Haven's bedroom. On Arlie's bed, there are two badminton rackets and two birdies. And then she has a cute little heart bedding. Haven's side has like a zebra pimp print bedding, a walkie talkie, and a cute little whoopee cushion. I got a great wolf lodge. Then on the walls are some inspirational messages. Very nice. It took me a really long time to glue them all on. And you can hear my tripod creaking because this is like seven feet off the ground and I'm only five foot, barely, so. You can see the struggle. So the final room of my dollhouse is Brielle and Spencer's room. And as you can see, like the wall, the spray paint did not go perfectly. You can also see that in Isabel's room and like the study and all. But with the lighter colors, it's really hard to get solid paint. Anyway, both of them have sleeping bags as bedding. Just thought it was cute. This is Spencer's side. Spencer has different types of cameras hanging up on hooks. There's an underwater camera, a movie little camera thing, and just a simple camera. And then she has a clipboard. Then in the corner, there's a sticker that my aunt gave me. It's just a computer. And they both have blue pillows. I think that's really cool. And the, um, up there we have a little sign I made for a photo contest. I think it was SSD, but I can't be sure. But it says, don't forget to, bleh, don't forget to smile. I have no idea why I couldn't say that. Anyway, this is Brielle's side. There's a little unicorn on her bed and a random sticker that my friend gave me up there. Then down here we have Goldie. I can't really reach her, but she's eating some food from a bowl and on our bed. So this was the last like official room in the dollhouse, even though there is space for two more. So up there is where I store all my dolls. All 21 of them are currently up there. And so that is like the extra space on top of my dollhouse that I'm going to end up turning into two more rooms. But for now, it's just where they're all being stored. All right, so I'm not using a tripod right now because I couldn't get the whole dollhouse in the picture. But here's an overview of it. Kitchen, Gracie's room, Noel and DeAndrea's room, Isabel and Gracie's room, Alexis and Jocelyn's room, Chilean and Lake's room, the bathroom, the study, Luciana and Kirsten's room, Seth, Raphael, and Finn's room, Nikki, Jade, and Luciana's room, um, what's um, Arlene and Haven's room, Brielle and Spencer's room, and then the extra space. So it's huge. Um, I might end up expanding it when I get more dolls, but for now, this is what it looks like. Anyway, that's all for the last part of the dollhouse tour. I hope you guys like it. Um, so anyway, that's kind of it for the whole entire video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye!